easily add better protection to Excel's workbooks without crippling Excel's user interface. Cursor Control intelligently guides the cursor from entry cell to entry cell, hopping over protected regions, and wrapping from the end of rows to the beginning of the next, just like Excel's worksheet protection. And like Excel's protection, Cursor Control is applied to the worksheet so we can select and copy from unprotected worksheets. But unlike Excel's protection, Cursor Control can paste around protected areas and Cursor Control preserves data validation and conditional formatting. And unlike Excel's protection, which turns off sorting, filtering, inserting, deleting, and much more, note how many icons are grayed out. Cursor Control leaves these powerful tools intact. To install this add-in, find the Installing section in Cursor Control's documentation. Click the zip file's hyperlink and, if asked, allow the download to run. Find the downloaded file button and click it. Select Show in Folder. Right-click Cursor.zip and select Extract All. Choose a directory to place all files and click Extract. Open add-in demo.xls. This installs the add-in to Excel's add-ins collection. At this point, we only need Check Cursor Control in the Add-ins dialog to add this feature to our work. Select cells you want users to make entries into. Set their style to input. Cursor Control recognizes input, bad, good, and neutral styles as input styles. Cells with any other style are protected. The add-in is great for a demo, but some projects can't afford to let users opt out of protection like the add-in does. For these projects, we need to copy a few components from the add-in directly to our project. Class module CLS Cursor is the key component. It monitors selection changes and guides the cursor to entry cells. It also monitors changes to prevent copy-paste and autofill operations from wiping out data validation and conditional formatting. To link our worksheet to the class module, we code a few lines in the workbook open event. First, declare a static variable to hold an instance of our class object in memory. Then create a new instance of that class and assign it to our static variable. Lastly, assign our entry worksheet to the class object. That's all. Copy a couple of modules, sprinkle a couple of lines of code, and there you have it data entry protection that doesn't cripple Excel's user interface and preserves data validation and conditional formatting.